normal variants, are sharply contoured waveforms on EEG, which can be misinterpreted, as epileptiform discharges. The commonly encountered normal variants in adult EEG include Wicket spikes Small sharp spikes of sleep 6 Hz phantom spike and wave 14 and 6 Hz positive spikes Rhythmic mid-temporal discharges and subclinical rhythmic EEG discharges of adults. Wicked spikes are frequently encountered benign variants with arch-like morphology, often seen in clusters. Wickets have a frequency of 6 to 10 Hz and amplitude ranging from 60 to 100 microvolts. Wicket spikes are mainly seen in adults during drowsiness and light sleep. They are most frequent in the temporal regions occurring unilaterally or bilaterally in an independent manner. In distinction to epileptiform discharges, wicket spikes have distinct shape, they do not distort the background, and do not have aftercoming slow wave. Small sharp spikes of sleep, also known as benign epileptiform transients of sleep, are monophasic or diphasic spikes, with steep ascending and descending limbs. They have short duration, and low amplitude, with duration, being less than 50 milliseconds, and, amplitude, less than 50 microvolts. They are seen in adults, during drowsiness, and light sleep, and, are located, in the frontal temporal regions, unilaterally, or bilaterally in an independent manner. They are sometimes, immediately followed by, a waveform, in the theta or alpha frequency range, creating the appearance, of a small spike and slow wave complex. Unlike epileptiform discharges, they do not, distort the background, and, have tendency, to disappear, during deeper levels of sleep. 6 Hz phantom spike and waves occur as bursts of miniature spike and wave complexes at 6 Hz rather than the usual 2 to 4 Hz. The term phantom is used because of their transient or evanescent nature as they usually last for less than one second. In these spike and wave complexes, the waves are of equal or higher amplitude than the preceding spikes. Spikes are usually less than 40 microvolts in amplitude and 40 milliseconds in duration. It is seen in young adults during drowsiness. Two different forms of 6 Hz spike and wave discharges have been described. Anterior dominant and posterior dominant. While the posterior dominant variety is considered as benign, the anterior dominant variety may sometimes be associated with juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. 14 and 6 Hz positive spikes are apiculate waveforms that usually last for about one second. 14 Hz component is more commonly seen than 6 Hz component, but both may occur simultaneously as can be seen here. They are usually seen in adolescents during sleep, maximum in parietal and posterior temporal region and can be either bisynchronous or unilateral. They may be difficult to recognize in bipolar montages and are best seen in montages with long inner electro distances, like ear reference, or, contralateral mastoid reference montages. Rhythmic mid-temporal discharges, appear, as bursts of rhythmical sharp waves, which can have sharp, flat-topped, or notched appearance, and last for few seconds. They usually have theta frequency, and, variable amplitude. They are mostly seen, in young adults, during drowsiness, in temporal region, unilaterally, or, bilaterally in an independent manner. They were previously known as psychomotor variant, because of their resemblance, to the EEG, of a temporal lobe or psychomotor seizure. The typical pattern of subclinical rhythmic EEG discharges of adults, consists of, sharp theta waves. Their duration, varies from few seconds, up to two minutes, and they either end abruptly, or gradually diminish and merge with the background. They occur, mainly in elderly individuals during wakefulness, during or shortly after hyperventilation, and occasionally during sleep. They are seen maximally, over parietal and posterior temporal region, mostly, in bisynchronous and symmetrical manner.